you know, it's, it's been um, a, a long layoff for us considering the start with how many games we had and having finals. Um, I know a lot of guys were studying, spending a lot of time on those. So, um, you know, as a coach, you know, we were concerned coming in because Missouri State um, had been playing, you know, their, their best basketball the year. They went three of the last four, um, have some really quality wins. And uh, so we knew that we were going to have to have to play well tonight. And um, you know, I think getting Tavon uh, back um, obviously made a really big uh, difference for our team tonight. And um, you know, I thought Alec looked a lot fresher out there tonight than he had looked in some of the previous games. Uh, just getting up and down the court, and and you know, his double double, um, especially his ten rebounds, were huge for us today. This for any of you guys, they came in averaging seventy points a game. You held them forty five. I mean, is that a point of pride that you can take a team and hold the twenty five hundred the scoring average? All right, you know, there's there's different goals defensively throughout the game. Obviously, we want to hold them under 40% shooting, and we want to limit their three-point shooters, and that comes with a long scoring game like that. You know, a team like that is coming in to they're coming in to make shots, and they're coming in to shoot a good percentage so they can outscore us in the end. But with uh, with what we do defensively and the guys that we have on the ball and away from the ball, it really limits them. Really limits them. It's great to hold them to just more of a 30% shooting. What was it like to get back out there? I felt great. I was just happy I was able to get out there with my team. Happy we were able to play ball. I'm just happy we got the money. Did you feel 100%? I mean, did you feel limited at all? I didn't feel limited. I uh, just got to get my reps up and uh, uh, get comfortable back in the game. So. Coach, did you have any kind of idea of minutes or anything like that? Were you watching specific things? No, you know, he uh, practiced this week and, uh, and looked really good. And so um, a lot was going to be his conditioning. And I know at certain points, you know, he got a little winded, but um, he did a good job letting us know and then, um, you know, putting back in once he, you know, once he caught his breath. Darian, again, uh, back-to-back three-pointers in that spot there. Um, really helped kind of extend, extend the lead a little bit. Uh, him shooting, and is he, is he kind of out of his whatever he's going through Well, you know, his two threes uh, were big for us, giving us momentum going into the locker room. And, um, you know, last year we know he made a lot of big shots for us to help us, and it's definitely nice to see in the last two games getting back to what he did last year. Alec. Can you just think about him if it's a long He's a huge part of our team, both offensively and defensively. You know, he most of the time is guarding the other team's best shooter or best player, and you know he does a great job every night. And offensively, he's you know a big part of our scoring, big part of our uh, getting offensive rebounds, and you know, <coughs> you know, little things like loose balls. And you know, he's all over the floor. So anytime you have a guy like that who's got a high energy all the time back on the floor, it's easy for you to play hard around him. You played with Church a lot growing up as an AAU teammate. Uh, in open gyms here and there, we used to work out together a little bit, and here and there. I mean, I, I know him. I don't. I mean, I don't know him as well as some people may think I do, but I know. I know him. We play the same program. He's a he's a lot shorter and a lot smaller than he is now. So, Alan, uh, for you, coach, help get win number one thousand for the Drew family today. What is, I mean, as as a player, has been around for you know the number of those uh, fifty. So, what, what's that like? It's exciting. I don't know when Coach got his 100th win earlier this year, we're all congratulating him, and I'm sure if we see Coach Homer around, we'll congratulate him. And just uh, it speaks to the amount of work that you know they've done throughout the years, and just uh, even more than that, they're better. They're better people. They're better mentors than anything. And so it's uh, it's it's nice to be a part of you know, something like that. Coach, what about you? What's that number mean? Well, my brother plays tonight, so so uh, you know I'm very thankful. Um, you know, thank God we were able to do it on, on Homer Drew Court instead of, uh, instead of having it down in Texas. Alex, just, just to play the way you guys did collectively, coming off the leg off the court, what does that say about this group right now? It just speaks to how hard we work in practice. We, uh, you know, all week try to stay competitive and try to work hard. You know, it's a long layoff in between games. And, you know, with school thrown in there, it just makes it tough sometimes. And so we had to remain tough in practice. We had to, you know, stay the course throughout the week. And when it came game time, I think everybody was a little more excited, a little, a little more adrenaline tonight because we haven't played in a while. Come on, kind of reiterating, can you, can you do everything that you normally to do? I mean, you're flying to the air, jumping a lot, whatever. 
nervous when you landed or anything? <coughs> well, I tried my best to. Uh, I wanted to come into this game without any restraints. And if I did so, I want to really be helping the team. So I just wanted to try to play hard and I do what I'm doing. Uh, Coach, when Keith, seven assists today, I mean, he's really just distributing the ball the best he's done with Calvin Newton. What is it that was working for him right now? You know, I think he's uh, he's making really good decisions. I think, um, you know, having Tavon back um, obviously helps. I think Alec, you know, helps a lot with, um, you know, how they're going to defend uh, him. I think he does a really good job reading those situations. And, and um, when he shoots the ball that well, too, you know, it adds another dimension to, to him. The teams have to come out, which opens up more passing lanes for him. Alec, there, Nick goes to the free throw line and you get both of those shots and you were, you jump 10 feet off the chair at that point. I mean, this is, this is nice when, when you see those guys get in there and, and make some play, make some contributions. And have, have you razzed Nick about missing that free throw a couple weeks ago? I don't talk about it with him very much. He, uh, he doesn't like to talk about it. But I like to see everybody on our team do well, and especially the guys that you know, go in and don't see a lot of minutes in the game, but they do well in practice and they work hard in practice. And it's nice to see them go in and do well. And even if it's something as simple as a free throw, I mean, I've lived with the kid the past two and a half, almost three years. So it's just nice to see someone like that in there and do well.